Hello there everyone, Toy and Game Collector here, bringing you a video game review. And what will I be reviewing today? Today, I'll be reviewing a game I've had for quite some time, but I never really got around to it till today. Today we'll be talking about Disney's Wreck-It Ralph on Nintendo 3DS. I'm reviewing this game because there's a new movie coming out in two weeks. So yeah, this game was released for the Nintendo 3DS, Nintendo DS, and the Nintendo Wii back in 2012, one month before the movie. Now, this video game was made to tie in with the movie, but there's some problems with it, such as its release date. This game takes place after the movie, and this game came out a month before the movie. But... We'll get to the, those problems later. So is this a good game? Is this a bad game? Well, I got this for like 10 bucks off eBay, so let's pop this game in. Here's the game. Let's pop this thing in and find out. friend and associate, Felix, and the gal he married, Sergeant Calhoun. Anywho, after that rotten little crumb snatcher, Vanellope, who also happens to be one of my best friends, was restored to her rightful place as president of Sugar Rush, things were going pretty smooth. But I digress. firm of fix it and wreck it i can fix it i'm gonna wreck it ah! Ah! here's a little advice don't inhale bug ash because trust me it's repulsive President Penelope declared it victory over Cybuck Day. I thought VC Day was catchier, but you know how politicians are. And with that, it was back to work. Because destroying Cybugs is just a sideline for us. Our real job is making you gamers happy, one quarter at a time. Okay, I am back from playing the game. In total, it took me an hour and a half to beat the entire game. Yeah, no joke, the game was that short. So, what do I think of Wreck-It Ralph on 3DS? Well, as I said, this game takes place after the movie. Now, before I go into it, I, get, I should talk about Wreck-It Ralph a bit. Wreck-It Ralph is one of my favorite Disney movies. It's that movie alone that got me back into video gaming, because at the time, I was just sort of getting out of video gaming. This movie made me fall in love with gaming again. It reintroduced me to all those classic characters I remember as a kid, and some I still play today. Yeah, so, how can this game be bad? Well, this game is basically a Mario ripoff. If you know how to play Mario, you know how to play this. You play as Ralph and Felix, but you don't play as Vanellope, and you don't play as Sergeant Calhoun. Which is disappointing, because Calhoun and Vanellope were great characters in the film. Don't get me wrong, I do like Ralph and Felix, but the game would have been much better if you had all four of the main characters in this game playable. Vanellope and Calhoun, yeah, they're in the game, they appear in two animated cutscenes, 
And if you die, or at the end of every level, they'll compliment you, or they'll, uh, criticize you for, for dying. Uh, what else is there to say about this game? Yeah, so, I guess I should get into the plot of the game. And if you didn't notice in the cutscenes. Basically, so basically a cyborg egg is, at, is hatched in Sugar Rush. And it multiplies, and they start taking over the arcade. So Ralph and Felix have to go stop them. Yeah, Ralph and Felix both have different moves. Ralph can wreck things. Felix can fix things. Yeah, Felix can double jump. Ralph can jump, but not as high. <sighs> now, what else is there to say about this game? Is it a good game? Is it a bad game? It's... It's an okay game, for what it is. Like, this is just your standard old movie tie-in game. You know, even though... You know, if this followed the plot to the movie, maybe I'd be a little happier that it released a month before the movie, but it doesn't. It takes place after the movie. Now, that doesn't bother me. It's cool to have a story that takes place after the movie, but the game is just not that fun, unfortunately. And don't, don't get me wrong, those, those two cutscenes that I showed early on this video, those are the only animated cutscenes in this game. There's a bunch of other cutscenes, but they're static images with the characters talking. The bright side, at least they got the voices for the, for the characters. Yeah. Let me tell you, those static pictures do not look very well. Now, there are three levels in this game. There's Fix-It Felix Jr., no, three worlds. Three worlds, not levels. They each have four levels each and a boss level. It's Fix It Felix Jr., Sh Hero's Duty, and Sugar Rush. And after you beat all those levels, you go back to them to, to do a boss level. The hardest level, hardest boss level, in my opinion, would have to be the Hero's Duty boss level. The easiest would have to be the Sugar Rush boss level. Because in the Hero's Duty level, what you do is... Not only do you have to punch the boss for the valve, you have to fix the, these, uh, things with Felix. But you only have a limited time to do it. In the Sugar Rush boss level, you're basically punching a bug as you punch ice cream out of the way. It's, it's very easy. It took me, like, two minutes to do it. I guess I should also mention, this game is very easy. Like, there are lives in this game, but it is very, very easy to get extra lives. You know, just collect 100 gold coins and you got an extra life. There's also Easter eggs in this game. You know, collect an Easter egg, you get... There's one per level. Collect them, you get some, like, concept art, I'm guessing is from the movie. I didn't collect all of them, but I got a decent amount of them. It's also Hero's Duty medals. I'm not exactly sure what those do. So, is this game worth your time? Well, if you like Wreck-It Ralph, then... Now you have 10 bucks to spare, I guess. Give it a try, but you can just watch this entire game on YouTube and get the idea of what this is. Because it's not that great a game, unfortunately. Too bad. I almost bought this on DS back in the day. Now here I am, six years later, talking about this. Whatever. Well, that's going to conclude this review. I'm the Toying Game Collector. Thank you for watching.